Hey, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. In this episode, we meet with Ryoji as the full moon draws near and we've reached our decision. We're gonna effing kill him! Wait, no, we're not supposed to kill him. Or are we? I still don't know. I guess we'll find out together. But on a more serious note, yes, Igis is back. And truth be told, I'm so happy for her. But at the rate we are going, we simply will not finish her social link in this route? Really think about it. Your boy effed up. We're missing three. And we only have basically, I mean, we got like 30 days left in the game. So, my bad. Good Lord, heaven, Betsy. Whatever will we do without the Aeon Social Link Rank 10? I know, I know. It's everyone's favorite. Also everyone's favorite. New Year's Eve. The promised day. Ryoji's come back. And he's brought snacks. The moment has arrived for you to make your decision. Oh, man. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Everyone is silent. Okay, I'll be waiting in her room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. How can you say that so nonchalantly, Jesus? I'll be waiting. All right. <laughs> Ryoji went upstairs into our room like the heck. You couldn't... We have empty rooms, you know. Ugh. Have you made your decision? No, I have not. <laughs> I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. Do I? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. Yeah, I'm with the rest of you too, but can, can we say out loud what our decision is? Because I... I'm in too. I need some help. I have made my decision as well. All right, so we're going to put it in a hat? Because I... Then we're all in agreement, yes? I don't know what to do. Fr Better let him know then, okay? I didn't, I don't even, I didn't even save. Did I save? Probably. Anyway, Yuji's standing in a corner. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> Come here often? It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Oh my god, he's right. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form. I wasn't known by this name. Not gonna lie, you're a lot cooler of a guy back then. You know, when you are a baby. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Wait, what are you saying? I, I spaced out, honestly. Or have you already made up your mind? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's do this. Assume the position, Ryoji. Time to die. This is a very important decision. You must choose wisely and not like an idiot. Let's... Let him live. Yeah. I guess my words didn't change your mind. Honestly, D, I wasn't paying attention, so... There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice. Oh, right, yeah, he... I was like, what? Booga, booga, booga! See? I'm not human. Dang, boy, you fought! Like, straight up! You didn't tell me you looked like this. Come on, man. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. I will... Do not hesitate to kill me. Yo, bring it on, bro. Okay, seriously, though. I want you to think about this carefully. I am serious. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Yoji, are you mansplaining? Like Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. I don't like that talk. Also, when did you have eight coffins? I thought you always had six. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. 
Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Uh, no. Stay alive. Yeah. Are we good? I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. And there it is. He effing lied. I'm just looking out for you guys. Oh. oh. I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you. Don't mention it. Goodbye. Oh. And... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. Yeah, no kidding. It was brief. It was nice. <laughs> I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Ryoji slipped off a ring that was on his finger. Dang. Could you hold on to this? Alright, I get why girls like him now. <laughs> it's proof that I was human. For however short a time, if you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it. You received faint glow ring. I feel a strong solid bond with Ryoji. Holy dumb. I know I'm like I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to be Mr. Goofy guy, but man. P3P. Oh, what an experience, bro. I know it's like ridiculous to like expect people to go through Tartarus twice, but man, this is absolutely enhanced my understanding of P3. Like, just seeing the world through Ryuji's... I freaking love this game. Don't worry, bro. I'll hang on to this ring. Even though if it's a platonic exchange, I'm just sorry. You're not my type. He's not my... He isn't! You can create no one the three goddesses of fate. Nice. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. I mean, come on. You got a boy in your room? Oh, what would the others say? Holy dump. When you return to the lounge, your friends rush towards you, relieved. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <laughs> Are we gonna, like, forget about each other or what? What's going on? <sighs> no, she wouldn't kill me even when I turned into a cool-looking monster. It's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Also, when you really break it down, you... You're kind of on her side. You must understand the bias, right? Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. You're never gonna guess. You'll find her at the top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you must journey to the top of the tower. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. One month. Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the darkness of the night sky. It's a beacon to guide Nyx. With the apprisers coming, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared and descends there. And thus, the demise will come. So that's why it's called the Tower of Demise. But what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. So you're saying we can fight Nyx, we just can't win. Right. But remember... From today, you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth, and then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun. I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. Was he? I guess. I guess she's trying to be cordial, but... Thank you. Oh my god. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Damn. Best wishes in the coming year. Uh, 
That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? God. See ya. <laughs> that Ryoji. We have one month until January 31st. Together, we'll reach the top. You made an important decision with everyone. You feel a strong bond with your friends. As we achieve max rank with the fool. I... Man, we got a month to prep for fighting. Next. Bruh. And I'm gonna do none of it. I'm not gonna prepare at all. I'm gonna eat 50 hamburgers with Mitsuru, bro. It makes you sano -o. Wait, I get why he's the fool. Because he's got the O. And it's the fool. Okay, that's probably after not. It's probably because he's like a crazy guy that just like beat up dragons and stuff. But uh, that's not really foolish. Anyways, a raging god. Heck yeah. You made an important decision with your comrades. Your relationship has grown, and behold, no judgment arcana. Take my word for it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> You've established the Nyx Annihilation Squad. Such a good name, bro. A new year is about to begin. In one month, on January 31st, you will be able to face Nyx. You must reach the top of Tartarus by that day. This is the decision you all made. 2009 is quietly drawing to a close. It was a year filled with many memories. No kidding. Man. It's like ancient history now, bro. 2010, jeez. Oh, hey. Hello? Are you up? God, I am now. So I Morning. Been... Oh, wait. I mean, Happy New Year's. Hey, you want to come to the shrine with us? Yeah, I could go. Mr. Senpai prepared kimonos for us. Why kimonos? It's fun every now and then, and we never get to dress up, except on special occasions. Just come with me. We gotta get ready. <laughs> Seems you're going to the shrine with Yukari and the others. Oh dang, I just realized. New sprite. A little while later in the dormitory, Ken came downstairs just as Akiko was feeding Koromaru. Good morning. Oh, um, Happy New Year, Senpai. Dang, everyone's smiling and everything. Happy New Year's to you, too. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? <laughs> Wasn't even good! The chickens ran, just like it said. Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon <laughs> women running around in the jungle. Uh, sorry, I, I mistook chicken run for chicks run. Why would I watch that? That's not anything interesting to me um is anyone gonna visit the shrine no i don't believe in superstitions me either oh that's too bad yukari-san and the others are already there they're all wearing kimonos kimonos huh <laughs> uh, i'm gonna run to the store man chidori died like last month bro what the heck? hold it right there junpei uh what you're going to the shrine aren't you no, I'm not. I'm uh, I'm just going for a walk. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right, then. Let's go. Anyone know where it is? He's never been. We've definitely been to the shrine, Aki. That, that's like, hmm. No, because I remember. Yeah, we we trained on the monkey bars. Bro, they have duck. Yeah, the girls told me the directions. Sweet. The shrine is crowded with people visiting for New Year's. Have you decided what to wish for? I'm, I've been here so many days, I, I I never really thought about it. This year will be great, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Then let's pray for that from the bottom of our hearts. You lined up with everyone and made your wishes. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah. Oh, it's Junpei-kun and the others. Just as Fuka mentioned, the guys come up the stairs and through the entrance. Happy New Year! Let's all do our very best this year! But man, you guys are late! You got on. Bro, come on! What? Happy New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? There ain't no way. Like, come on. Mitsuru Senpai. You look hot. What the top? I, um, I mean. So disrespectful. 
stopped staring at me. Like, for real? Mitsuru, get behind me. Happy New Year's, everyone. Oh, God. I've never worn a kimono before. Um, does my sash look okay? Fuga, you look... Wow! Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Dang, her flowers look like ninja stars, bro. They, uh... Hi, <laughs> uh, chan Considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. Is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? It reminds me of fighting shadows. Perhaps killing intent? Oh no. But man, I gotta say, um, you look pretty cute yourself. Hmm, he finally came around. Whoa, Katone! Uh, oh, uh, it, it's nothing. Well, I've never seen that face before. What the heck? Uh, I'm so glad I came. New Year's kicks ass. <laughs> yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Oh my god. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. He literally apologized for calling us hot during the summer festival. I don't think he's gonna agree, bro. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. Is that true? I mean, no, I, but- He said what? Huh? Wow, you've really taken Ken Kun under your wing, huh? That's horrible. Uh, no, 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 wait. Wait, is he lying? <laughs> I can't. Ouch. Dang, how'd she move that thing? Oh, God, they freaking. Look at this. Oh, man, we got like the best song in the game, too, now. Bro. Anyway. How could Stupe say such a thing to a kid? I can't believe him. But, you know, it's nice to do this sort of thing once in a while. Even if we did just, you know, get harassed. <laughs> we gotta make a fresh start and think positively. And let's do our best. Heck yeah. Dude, I didn't say that! Don't make things up, Ken! Wait, but you... you did? What? Did he? Well, um, I'm not used to seeing you wearing something like that. I'm kind of embarrassed. Sorry. <laughs> At least he's honest. <laughs> do you want to leave? No! What the heck? We just got here. All right, let me know when you want to. All right. Wearing this makes me feel renewed. Although the sash makes it hard to breathe. Are you okay? I'll manage. What about you? Hey, come over here. My takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. Four dollars? You think you can get a discount because it's New Year's? Just buy some, please. Why not? Happy New Year. Please come again. Wait, weird takoyaki? Don't you hate getting the worst luck, Fortune? I feel like he, he's the reason my luck's so bad. Maybe I should break up with him. What the f I pulled the Fortune out, and it says worst luck. It's a heck of a way to start a new year. Why do they even put those in? Man, there's not a lot to do here, bro. Like, like man, there's, there's like basically nothing. I drew a paper Fortune. It read, great luck. I'm anticipating excellent results. Nice. Well, effing later, I guess. So, did you guys finish making your wishes? Of course we did. Oh, but I ain't telling what I wished for. I heard your wish won't come true if you tell anyone. Isn't that what they say about prophetic dreams? Uh, it's not like it takes a rocket scientist to figure out what Junpei wished for. Oh, dang. Hey, wait, 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 what's up with that? What, you think it's gonna be something like, I wish to meet a hot babe, huh? Sure, anyone can meet a hot babe, but you know, what's up there? Well, shows what you know. What I really wished for is... The same thing we all did, right? I wish to prevent the demise. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip it in the bud. Mm-hmm. He's truly mature. Besides, don't you go for younger girls anyway? Ooh, hitting on them freshmen. What? Whoa, did I guess right? Creepy. <laughs> F dope. That's F dope. <laughs> oh, God, and here we go. Lay it on me. Hello. My, a new floor is open in Tartarus. Get up there. If you're interested, please enter the door that appears the Tartarus. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. We got this. Something's telling me. 
This tier of Tartarus is gonna be cake. I don't know, like maybe it's just Siegfried? Or maybe it's these 99 Armageddon spells I hacked into the game because I'm effing fed up with Tartarus. Oh yeah, we also get the Paradigm Door. I've never done this before. Is this the door that Theo was talking about? He mentioned a sister. You decide to open the door. Ooh, are we gonna cut? <sighs> there she is. Hey Junpei, you wanted to be the hot babe? It doesn't get better than this. There are many doors here with challenges that are very silly. Someone's standing there. It was good for you to come. I'm Margaret. I'm the one who rules over power. Don't listen to the others, they're just lying. Will that description help you understand? I've heard a lot about you. I thought it was time I saw you with my own eyes. This is the Vision Quest Hall. It's a world inside of you that I have prepared. How does this place fit inside my skull? That's crazy. I prepared various contests for you here. Each one is in accordance with your memories. Do you remember the giant shadows you fought so far? Here you'll be able to fight them again, just as you did the first time. Well, that's effing a drag because they're jokes. I just told you, these are made from your memories. Don't come complaining to me. I think you understand faster if you open the first door, rather than standing here asking questions. All right, Jesus. Think of this as my challenge to you. You have the freedom to choose whether or not to answer the questions posed here. Some are quite difficult. I won't think less of you for retreating. Now open the door of your own will. After that, you find an answer to each question. But that would be telling. This is all many tests prepared for Margaret. All questions will be answered by defeating the enemy. Once you answer a question, you may claim a reward. What awaits you for defeating them all? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so... Heads up. This is reminiscent to something else in P3's uh, story. However, I'm extremely curious. I've never done this ever. And I'm genuinely curious what happens. Why can't I open any of the doors? What is the first? All right, I guess we have to start with the priestess. Makes sense. They force you to use uh, this party setup, which kind of stinks. Like Are you sure? Oh, I guess she wasn't here. How strong is this though? I'm genuinely curious. Like, is it the same to the... No, it's stronger. Well, F this. Reinforcements. How annoying. Yeah, however will we cope anyway. <laughs> Later, sucker! <laughs> <gasps> You're cheating! You're darn right I am. F this. We got a single condenser. <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly worth it. I'd spend a lot of time in here and checking out all these, like, mini challenges, but I simply do not have the setup necessary. Like, my team... Like, we, we're effing trash, bruh. It's just reality. Also, fun fact, it took me this long to realize you could use the main door to actually ascend. I never knew that. But yeah, onward. Oh crap, I have the wrong team. Well, not like it matters. And as we ascend to the sixth block, we get more and more of the Judgment Arcana filled up, which is pretty nice. Like, I don't know. It works, both thematically and for gameplay, but yeah, I'm sorry. I just... This project is not super long, but I've been in Tartarus a minute. Now I know what you're thinking. Johnny, why would you, a self-proclaimed Persona fan, not want to fight the Yotun of Grief for the, what is this, sixth time? Bitch, what the fuck? See ya, nerd! I'm not fighting the Yotun of Grief. You cannot force me to. I... Yeah, I, I did the right thing. And you know, despite being able to one-shot every single enemy, that still took a considerable amount of time. But we cannot go any further because Ryoji said so. We have to wait for the 31st. Welcome to Persona, everybody. Let's win the fight. F yeah. And the Judgment Arcana will max out, allowing us to create... Is it Satan or Lucifer? It's one or the other. Dang, I actually can't remember. That's crazy. Oh, it's neither. It's Messiah. How could I forget? A fantastic persona, which is unfortunately a giant pain in the butt to craft. Will I ever do it? Mm. Now a Tartarus completely explored. What do we do now? Uh, do the part of the game I actually want to do, which is social links. Sadly, it's effing the break, so we can't do any. Truly a very odd game. Luckily, Akinari's not going anywhere. So like you to congratulate me. As of today, I'm a free individual. What? From the hospital. They were going to put me under care, but now I don't have to do it. 
I guess my body is too weak to undergo surgery, so I refuse any medication as well. Which means I'm done with the hospital. Yay? Now I'm just waiting for the end. But I don't feel like I'm the only one being singled out anymore. Everyone is waiting to die, if you think about it. Some just have longer to wait than others. Once the time comes, it's the end for all of us. I'm still a little lonely, but I'm not sad anymore. I want to remember what you look like. You are beautiful. Ah, you're like a pristine lake. Thanks. Akinari's smile tinged with sadness. Just had to sneak in there. My golly, you are stunning. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to die. I'm just teasing. Thank you. I'm a little bit tired today. The story is almost done, so I can show it to you soon. <sighs> just one more Sunday, man. I don't know. Hello. Hey, what's up? We're going to finish your social link or what? Not that I want to see the end. I saw a news report about that cult. They become so big so quickly. Like, like completely off screen. Like, did you even know there was a cult? Weird, huh? If you believe, you will be saved. <laughs> what a joke. Who would buy that? Extremely desperate people. People that most likely need our help. Like, we can say, oh yeah, who would ever join a cult? But we're, you know, of sound mind. It's a little effed up. What do we got today? Please be Yukari. Please be Yukari. Oh, uh, maybe Suru's okay too. Where are we heading? Oh, the beef bowl shop? Ah, uh, my, look at all the grease. I'm sorry for making you come to a place like this on your day off. I wanted to try coming here. I see Akihiko eating often. Yeah. But there's one thing bothering me. What? I feel as though we're drawing a great deal. Wait. Oh, they spelt great wrong. A great deal of attention upon entering the restaurant until we left. Was it just my imagination? It's because... <laughs> Uh, what are you saying? You won't gain anything with such flattery. I don't know about that. Today you learned something new about her. She's easily embarrassed. Have you noticed these weird symbols and posters all over town? They really creep me out. Nyx must be affecting everyone's mind. We should go to Tartarus. We're already done. Month's gonna fly by before you know it. I think we'll be okay. I honestly should try and craft some weapons for people. But man, it just does not matter. I know not a lot of people would agree with this, but man, weapons are just the one thing that's missing from just Persona as general. Like, if they could make weapons actually, like, oh man, should I use this weapon in this fight? And, you know, have that, like, combined with, like, the Persona, like, aspect of the game? I don't know, man. I think we'd actually be peak. You could argue that is sort of the thing now, but it usually just comes down to, oh, should I use the sword that gives me plus 10 strength or the one that gives me plus 10 magic? not a ton of variety but yeah let's hang out with ken the only thing they could do wait what why don't you choose where we go tonight katoni san anywhere you want i'll pay okay getting sush huh ken huh uh he's one of my classmates he sounds a little old a boy about ken's height walked by hmm what are you doing nothing i'm just about to go to dinner this your sister? Uh, no! What are you getting mad at me for? Because I'm not her younger brother. Tony san she's my... Ken falls silent with a troubled look on his face. We're friends, okay? Got a problem, bud? That's weird. What's so weird about that? I mean, she's way older than you. Shut up! Don't be ridiculous, stupid. Your face is stupid. Stupid. Idiot. Hag. Whoa. I didn't do nothing. You hanging out with this kid? You know him? Did he just call you a hag? My. The one character in the game that didn't comment. No, he's still commenting on our physical appearance. It was just negative. Um. I'm sorry you said that stuff. I'm sorry. Well... Didn't bother me. <laughs> I know I'm beautiful. Ken hangs his head low. You and me, 
We're nowhere close to each other's ages. You keep bringing this up. We could talk about other things. I know that already. That's a fact that can't be changed. So why are you bothering with a kid like me? Because I'm hungry and we need dinner. The guys at the dorm are older than me. You have lots of friends, right? Then why me? Ken looks downwards, but he has a serious expression. You must be honest with him. Oh, thank God, I can reject him now. Jesus. You're a special friend, Ken Am Amada. Tony san You call me your friend? My special friend? <laughs> Even though I'm just a kid? I can't be there for you like everyone else. And you still... Thank you, Katone san You're very kind, after all. I really look up to you. You're so kind and strong. Except that one time you cheated. I want to be more like you. Cool. He took rejection. A lot better than other boys. Yay. Good lord, stay away from me. Oh, I forgot I had homework. I'm sorry. I'll just have to get something quick to eat. Then go up to my room today. Well then. <laughs> that was so odd. Someone called us a hag and he was like, No, no, she's very gorgeous to me. Hmm. Who is it today? Oh, Ken. Man, I... I mean, I guess. Thank goodness. If you got time, do you want to go somewhere? I'm just... I'm just genuinely curious where he's going to take us. Like, what is it? <laughs> of course. I hear the fries here are terrible! I used to eat things like this all the time. I still eat it once in a while, but it kind of tastes dull. I don't know. Kind of munching on the fries. They're canonically terrible. There's so many high school students around. This place seems full of school at, This place seems full after school. I even see that at karaoke and CD shops. I wonder why my life will be like when I'm in high school. So much is going on already. I can't even imagine what a high school me would be like. Uh, you'll be, I'm not. It'll go on before you know it, buddy. We're gonna beat Nick's and you're gonna go to senior ball. Like, do they have dances in Japan? I don't think so. You think so? I mean, I feel like there's a huge gap between you. <sighs> I'm going to scream. <sighs> How many times? <sighs> no present, F you. And our last day of winter break is with Come on, yeah, saving the best for last. The mall. Again. Wow. Do you see the ad for the special diet tea at the pharmacy we passed? Seems like it's a special blend. Owner of a Ahonj? I, I'm kind of curious about it. She seems weary. A diet you? I'll be honest with you. I gained some weight. Oh, I can't believe it. What am I going to do? I guess we got to go to Tartarus, do some stairs climbing. Up. Is it because I did the ultimate combo from Wuck to the sweet shop? I mean, that is a lot of fat, technically. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not saying you're... But you look the same. I, I'll help you. Mind games. Oh, I don't like this. You look the same? I don't know... I'm doubly screwed. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're in the same, we're in the same boat. Oh, we got to train together, you know? What are you talking about? You look fine. Like, do you think so? Want to try losing weight together? If we encourage each other, I think we, yeah. I saved it, bro. I clinched that crap like a god. Like a god. Anyway, let's give her more sweets. This is terrible. Don't tell me you made this. Well, what's one more treat? <laughs> People are going to think I'm like a... What is it called? Oh, yeah. It's when you die constantly in League of Legends. A feeder. Hey, have you heard about this cult? Hey, don't call it that if you don't know anything about it. The fall is coming. It's already decided. Well, it's already decided that it can't be helped. <laughs> By the way, about the homework from second period? I don't know, man. Who cares about that? The fall is coming. Why try anything? Happy New Year, everyone. Winter break is over now. No more booze. Oh, you guys are underage. Wow, I feel sorry for you. Tori Yumi, oh my god. Well, let's get right to business. It's a new year, so we'll start with the basics. It's a simple concept, but students often get it wrong. I'm talking about the apostrophe? Okay, Katone. Of the three phrases I've written on the blackboard, tell me which one is correct. I am... Ter oh, that's right, that one. That's absolutely... <laughs> it's a contraction of it is. It's is a possessive word. 
You could say its tail or its temperature, but no, it's wrong. There's another pair of words are commonly confused. There and there have the same pronunciation, but they're not interchangeable, so watch out. Gosh, isn't English just ridiculous? Ugh. I still miss hey, my Oxford. You busy? Oh, I was just talking about Oxford commas. No, I'm not. Could you come with me for a sec? Dude, anytime. Sweet. Thanks. <sighs> it's a nice day out. Why don't we go up to the roof? It's almost coming of age day, you know? I didn't realize. I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even going to live long enough to celebrate it. Yeah, that puts a lot into perspective. Like you'd celebrate <laughs> some having second thoughts, you know? Maybe we should have killed Ryoji? Not exactly, but it's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out. Others have gone missing. Dude, it, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. What does that even mean? It's all got to be because of this Nyx. Shadow Riffit? Well, memory or what? <sighs> oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. I'm already at the end of Tartarus. I tried. I'll, dude, I'll be there on 31st. Yeah, but it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. Hey, not for long. They haven't done anything yet, but I know they've got to be planning something, and we need to take care of them, too. Man, to think I'd end up trusting such a cutie with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. Dude, you gotta chill. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. Junpei's looking far off into the distance. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just also hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. <laughs> that thing was inside you for ten years. And you harnessed its power and made it your own. I know. Aren't I the best? Junpei turned to face you. Uh-oh, what? I know I've run my mouth a lot since the day we met. And yeah, maybe I called you cutie a couple of times, and you might have thought I was making fun of you. But I'm totally serious when I tell you. I trust you with my life. I'm, I'm glad to know you. It's embarrassing to say it, but, but that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? No doubt. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that, okay? <laughs> At least he's self-aware, right? It's like, yeah, maybe I said it a couple too many times, but. Man, that scene is just so sweet. Oh my gosh. All the member of C's, man. Except Epping Ken, what is his deal? Wanna go somewhere on the way? Yeah, we gotta burn some calories off, girl. And we're back at the walk. You decided to come here with Yukari. Walk won't do. It's fattening. The sweet shop is also fattening. Oh my gosh, losing weight. Archery doesn't help you lose weight. You just stand still. It's <sighs> ramen, beef bowl. This place is full of fattening stuff. It's getting to the point I'm starting to feel a bit. I think I'm gonna buy that DVD that helps you lose weight while dancing. Have you heard about it? I heard it's on top sales charts right now. Oh, but do you think people downstairs will hear? I think you have to jump around and stuff. Yo, I feel that. I bought Ring Fit, which is the best game ever. It is the coolest game ever, but I'm like, man. I don't know, I'm on the top floor. I just felt so, I, I wanna play it, bro. Ikari's looking your way as she talks to you. Huh? A car comes speeding down the road. Yukari steps into the strip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yukari, eh. No way. What, what happened? Was that a hit and run? No. Uh, thanks. That was scary. Oh my God. I was scared too. I almost lost you. Yeah. She seems stunned. Oh god, I skipped dialogue. You skinned your palm slightly when you fell down. Uh. Why? Why'd you help me? What were you gonna do if you died? No, what were we gonna do if you died? So it's okay if you die? I mean, come on. That's not what I meant. Oh my god, why are we fighting? 
Why'd I pick that? I mean, you're our leader. What would you do if you died? I'm tired of all this. I'm sick of all the people around me dying. Oh my god, Yukari looks like she's about to cry. You sense affection from Yukari, but dog. Duh. Man, she's got emotional damage, and I am not mature enough to deal with this. I'll just come out and say it. Sorry, you saved me too. I keep bombarding you with all these personal stuff all the time. Sorry, I'm a little confused. I'm a kid, aren't I? You both are. I'm gonna head back. Sorry. But we're both starving. No! What about the DVD? Dang it. She's got a point, though. Yeah, if we haven't died like that, if my hot counter did not proc on the car, things would be rough. This term seems like any other term. I don't care what's going to happen to the world. All I'm going to do is keep moving forward. So let me know when you want to go to Tartarus. Deal. But, yeah, we're kind of... I don't know. I'm... Little 70, bro. We're... <laughs> we're set. Then again, we could always get stronger. I could kill that special boss and be extra prepared by going into the other area, but mm, that seems overkill. I kind of just want to spend the last month with the rest of Seas. I rather like them. But yeah, I'm starting to realize, oh my god, we do not have time. It's already a half moon. Interesting. So Takoyaki doesn't consist of an entire octopus, only a small portion. Well, that makes sense. An entire octopus would be too much food for one person. Not me. I'm built different. I'll eat it. Sometimes I'm amazed at my ignorance of the world. Yeah. Anyway, shut up and eat! Um, you're right. I'll have one takoyaki, please. What? Takoyaki isn't sold in individual pieces? So I can buy a dozen at this price? I see. <laughs> what a low price. She's coming to terms with how much money she has. Mitsu is enjoying her food. Dang, bro, I finally had takoyaki. I love that crap, man. Oh, my mouth's watering. I want that. I'm filled with diced octopus inside. Interesting. It tastes slightly sour. Are there any other ingredients in addition to the octopus? Uh, chives and mayo, I think. Well, whatever they may be. They taste absolutely delicious. Sestress Bon? Man, I don't know Spanish. Mitsuru has discovered how delicious taco you I can't even say. Dude, I can't even pronounce that one if I tried. I'm a most. Am I really French? I don't know. That reminds me of what Akihiko was talking about when he walked past here. Don't you think Akihiko has been acting differently lately? I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I've known him for such a long time. Perhaps he's just maturing. Dang, you talk about Akihiko a lot when we're hanging out with me. Does it make you happy? Of course that makes me happy. With all we've been through, it can be difficult to get over our pasts. However, Akihiko's trying to learn from his experiences. I'm very impressed by him. So am I. When I look at Akihiko, I'm reminded of so many things about myself. I can't explain why, though. Hmm. I think you're lonely? Dang, all these options suck. I'm a, I'm a teaser. In love? No, it's not that. Does it appear that way to you? That was the right answer? What? He's just a friend. Or should I say a teammate? I can't seem to find the correct word to describe him. Regardless, that is the extent of our relationship. Poor guy. Oh, wait, he's taken. Oh. <laughs> she, she answered probably correctly. No, definitely. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm <laughs> sorry for subjecting you to my incoherent ramblings. Please forget what I just said. What do you mean? I already died. What were you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. The takoyaki is absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. Accepted. Yo. My breast of my octopi. Ah! Only three more weeks till X day. It's weird. I was peeing my pants last month since I decided that I was going to fight. I'm not scared anymore. All right, let's go to Tartar Sass. Anyway, Yukari, I brought you some octopus. I know we're mad at each other, but I want to get over it. I used to think that our school would be safe from that cult. I was wrong. All our classmates are talking about the end of the world now. I have no idea what's really going on. It's not like we could tell them either. I knew the cult would have some influence over the school, but I never imagined it would be to this extent. Can you think of an effective way to counter them? The uh, kill the cult leader? I'd prefer not to do that. Eliminating the cult should only be our last resort. What? I mean, that 
That's the fastest way, though. Then again, when you think about it, right? That's not going to fix anything. There could always be a second in command. Ugh. Taking down ideologies. It's just a scary thing, but... I've been waiting. I finished my story and I wanted to show you. Here it comes. As you know, I was having a lot of trouble with the ending. But I finally figured it out. Since the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a very long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a beautiful lake, around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree with delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator created it, or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator did not find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. Because the meaning of my life is not something I should worry about. It's really what others think of my life, what I was able to do for them. That's so selfless, though. Bro. Could you imagine a world where everyone thought that way? God. So for me, or you, or anyone, the meaning of our lives is something that we make, but don't see. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. Yeah, no, no one's an island. I don't know if that made any sense, but do you kind of get what I'm saying? I hope I can someday. Right now, it's just, I don't know. I'm a little, I'm, I'm halfway there. I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote in my story, and it's all I have to leave behind. I wanted you to have something since you shared my last moments. Jeez, how are they going to handle this? My body feels lighter. Hmm. Thank you for everything. Coming to see me, talking, even discussing the meaning of life. I can... I can be glad that I was born. Jesus. It still hits, bro. Like, man, I'm still shocked at how some parts of this game hold up so well. Gosh. <sighs> anyway, here comes Asura. A pretty evil effing... Well, I guess evil's debatable, but... Man. <sighs> can they even outdo this one? I don't know. Anyway, you can create Asura, the grand being. Is it just me, or did that used to say the highest of the high? Maybe I'm wrong. I have to go now. Katone. Maybe. Someday. I hope. We meet again. Akinari disappeared in the afternoon sunlight. You gripped his notebook tightly and decided to head back to the dorm. Oh. Doesn't it? It's just. Welcome back. It's not the same when it's 2D, bro. It's like the skin. It's such a. I'll save my piece. But it's officially coming of age day, and we have essentially nothing to do. It's doomed. I actually couldn't do 100%. Where did I mess up? Okay, I got kind of close. No, I didn't. But um, I'm so tilted. We at least have to finish up. Mitsuru and Yukari. I can't go without that. And of course, can you know. Maybe I studied too much? No. I don't know. Lately, even the late night comedy shows have been talking about the end of the world. It feels so creepy. Are you talking about that? By the way, I want to show you this magazine that hit the stands. It's called... It's an occult magazine. Ugh. Don't tell me it's about cults. Ugh. Well, I just read it for you. Just read it for yourself. Come on, it's really good. Like, come on. I don't feel like it. I hate reading. I also hate school. Blah. Well, it's cold. I should have my skin plated. What? I'd shine as bright as the sun. You all know about plating, is right? It's a process to cover objects in thin metallic layers. Tin plating is done by plating iron with tin. For corrugating galvanized iron, you plate iron with zinc. Gold medals, by the way, are created by plating silver with gold. So technically, Olympic athletes don't win gold medals. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I didn't know that. It does remind me of plate meal, though. And like, man, how did... Like, dude, armor... 
you can't even quantify how hard it is to pierce. I don't know how any fights, like, ever ended. It's just, like, crazy. The night sky is beautiful these days. It's because the air is so clear. Stars produce light via nuclear fusion, and invisible planets reflect the star lights. No, visible planets, not invisible. That would be dark matter. That's not to say the one superior to the other. They both have their own purposes. Life is the same way, though. It might be hard for you kids to understand that now. Have you read the news? What's going on now? The media makes it sound supernatural. But don't listen to them. That kind of rumor spreads every now and then. Like a drop of dye on a specimen. It'll die down soon. Yeah. If we have something to say about it. It is true, though. Like, man. They've been saying it's going to be the end of the world for, like, a really, really long time. That's always been my personal way of keeping peace. But, wait, hold on. I want to talk to this guy first. Who is this guy? Who are you? Who are you? Last time I was hanging out at the strip mall, I saw a dude with some weird fashion sense. Long, wavy hair, no shirt, tattoos all the way up and down his arms. Might be unreasonably warm, but he kind of went over... <laughs> he kind of went overboard? But hey, maybe it's cool to let your freak flag fly. If I were more like him, not giving a rip what people think, I don't have a care in the world. Homie, like... No. Like, oh, he's got no shirt on. But with this weather... His knee place are erect. That ain't cool. I was wondering if you'd like to come with me. Are right, going back to work? What's the play? Oh, library. Mitsuru has a languid expression on her face. Hmm. We only have a short time to be together like this. Soon we'll be looking back nostalgically on these times. You act like I can't come see you after we graduate. Come on. But then again, what's up? With, like, you know, after college. Oh, but you'll be so busy. I haven't decided yet. Dude, since my father passed away, I've been faced with many difficult problems. My inheritance, the future of Kirijo, and the expectations of everyone involved with growth. Most likely, I won't be able to attend college or begin a profession. I'll have to find another path. What? You can't go to college? There's gotta be somebody that can help. What? No. Say, Shiomi, what are your thoughts on marriage? Oh, right. We're a girl, so... Well... Hmm. The end of your life. Okay, Vincent. To be with your true love. You know. For the record, I don't believe in true love. There's obviously a billion loves you could develop, but working together in harmony with another is quite beautiful. <laughs> You're so straightforward. However, I'm a Kirijo. I cannot simply make a decision according to my emotions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, must be carefully considered. Yeah, I agree with that. And this is what I think marriage is a social contract. You are not just linked body and soul. You are linked to each other's social backgrounds as well. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons. But as time passed, they grew to love each other. I don't consider them unfortunate. Love comes in all different forms. Yeah. But man, not being able to choose for yourself, dude, that doesn't even... I know I could never do that. Do you disagree? But your boyfriend? She has a boyfriend? Y you should know that I, I don't have one. We're living under the same roof, aren't we? <laughs> I'm not very good at romantic relationships. Besides, I don't have any spare time to devote to another. Dang. She seems offended. What? I, my bad. I thought it was... I just goofed! I can't believe the library's closing, and we're still here. Katona, you bring out the rebel in me. Talking in the library. I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. Oh my, we're being so naughty. We should go. You listen to me too. She talked about a personal problem. <laughs> okay, I super goofed up on the whole boyfriend thing. I think I just kind of like rubbed salt in the, the, like, the wound that, yeah, she can't have one. Dude, that's... I mean, honestly, real talk. High school romance is overrated, but... When you returned to the dormitory, Junpei greeted you like he was waiting for you. Oh, there you are. What up, Leia? We're all going to uh, Hagakure. Wanna come? Everyone? Of course, I'll be there. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Akihiko-san's buying. Him and me had a little bet in Yakushima. I can't really go into details, but in the end... 
I guess you're the one who actually won. What? <laughs> you didn't even know you were part of it. Is this Operation Babe Hunt? Well, I don't look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Anyways, I've just been waiting for you to get back. Everyone else already left, so we got a jet. Well, thanks for sticking by and letting me know. I guess Aki, Yukari already sitting down. Is the special okay for everyone? Mm, yeah. Okay. Five specials, please. I don't like to make it difficult for the chef, you know. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko-san's never treated us all to ramen before. Because I don't have a job, Junpei. It's not easy, you know. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? My bet was only with Junpei. <laughs> not this again. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on that counter? What? There's an article in it that looks highly disturbing. I guess. Come on, we're trying to eat. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll fight it. Like, which magazine? It's this one. Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. It's not a very clever title, is it? I guess brought up over the magazine and handed to Akihiko. Well, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Huh? Hey, look at the photo in this. Check out the so-called Messiah. What the? I is that Takaya? Takaya is indeed grinning provocatively in the article's photo. I thought something was up. So, Streg is behind that cult. How could he... F how... How'd he pull this off? Like, actually... He's a goober, bruh. Or is he? And they just didn't have enough time to write aspects of him being cool and charismatic like the game tells us he is. <sighs> I've lost my appetite. I don't know. What a bummer. I am sorry. I did not know. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, Igis. Disgusted. Aikiko passes the magazine back to Igis. Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. I said I want to hear this, I guess. Why are you... But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Good question. Wait. He's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true! We heard it from Ryoji! Oh no, is Ryoji a double-crosser? <laughs> I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. Right. Maybe he just made a really good guess. That son of a bitch. He just had to pick the Greek goddess, huh? Man. But there are those who do not understand this truth. Hey, I'll try to eat. Even though they have also been blessed by her. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it, using it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. Oh my god, this is actually scary though. He knows our identities. He could just send people to the door. Dude, I'm sp well, we got I guess late. Bring it on, but... Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? His breath smells like garlic. Not that I was anywhere close to him to smell, but... How'd he get so popular all of a sudden? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? I mean, things are pretty dire. Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Back into the tower. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Yeah. Tartarus. Dang. 
They must have been planning this all along. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takaya's preaching? Well, I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. But is that so surprising? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? Yeah, but we don't want to think about it all the time. We don't want it to happen tomorrow. I guess. I, don't, I really don't want to eat my ramen anymore. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? Our objective is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I mean, that's the right attitude. Besides, they're punks. Who gives a freak what they have to say? I agree. We'll probably run into the Tartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. <laughs> they should be afraid of us. The promised day will soon be here. Anyway, bring on the noodles! <laughs> as fearless as ever. All right, and if that's the case, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. Junpei, don't forget you're having half of Igus's food too. Oh, don't worry, I'm starving. Dang, three bowls though? Well, if Aki goes by. You uh... just better eat it all. <laughs> Jeez, this, uh. Man, there's a lot going on here. And it does make me wish, like, we could see more of this cult stuff. Not that I like cults, but seeing the effect it has on the city in real time. Because there's like, you know, NPCs and stuff that you can talk to, like, cults are epic! But it's not substantial, you know? You gotta keep in mind, budgets were tight back then. I get it. Anyway. I love the air here. It's nice and cool in the morning, and in the afternoon the sun's bright and it smells like nature. I especially like it at night. It's quiet. It makes me feel like I can be true to my own feelings. Yeah! I had some homework a while back. We're supposed to write an essay about our dreams of the future. Couldn't think of anything to write about, though. Things are looking pretty grim at the moment, huh? Peach, the teacher got angry. Made me stay after class, but I couldn't come up with anything. Yeah, it's not your fault. I really couldn't think of a single thing I dreamed of. My teacher said that I had to turn in right then. So I wrote that I wanted to be a soccer player. Because that's what the guy next to me wrote. So you cheated. Wow. Ken nimbly scales the jungle gem. Come up here, Katoni-san. The sky's a little closer up here. Uh, okay. But don't push me off, though. You climb the... Why would he do that? Why did I think he'd do that? I figured out why I couldn't say anything about what my dreams were for the future. It's because I never thought about myself like that. I didn't care about the future. But you made me realize that. You didn't treat me like a kid or take pity on me. You listened to what I had to say. You didn't roll your eyes at some of the odd things that came out of my mouth. I mean, I don't simply wish to become an adult anymore. It all depends on how I become one. Hmm. Try your best with it? Yeah. I don't even know if that's good advice. If you can stay by my side and watch over me, I'll be happy. It's uh, all right. It's not terrible. I get it. Being the youngest and also the last to join. Well, second to last to join. Doesn't do Ken any favors. If you don't mind, can we visit the shrine before we head back? I want to pray for everyone's safety. You're all important to me after all. You're all my friends. <laughs> Dang. Emperor and Empress are tied. Yukari at seven and Ken at nine. We're finally winding down with Persona 3 Portable. It feels effing... I don't know. This project definitely went on for a while. <laughs> My bad, but... I've truly just enjoyed a lot of that. Oh god, what is happening? I'm trying to be melancholy. How many times do I have to explain? It's like I'm talking to a moron. What are you accusing me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom. Also, this is a girl talking, I think. Can you prove that I wasn't a girl urinating in the urinal? With their... Penis? Can you prove that? Well, there's just no reasoning with you. <laughs> that joke uh, was not great. Sorry. 
What a bunch of Neanderthals. Katone, were you there the whole time? This one I don't like about Persona 3. You gotta kiss so much butt. They're all so mean to you, Hidetoshi. It's perfectly logical that a girl could... Uh, don't hold it against them. They're like children. They just don't understand my unique way of thinking. <laughs> Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then they'll respect me. Then they'll love me. Then Papa will come home. I'm not insulating myself. It's just I'm just being aloof. Sooner or later, someone always get hurt in any relationship. What? Where? What, where's this trauma coming from? I guess I'm preaching to the choir, though. <laughs> I apologize. Did he use that properly? You're supposed to, like preaching to the choir. Is like I'm telling somebody that already knows this, right? Like. What is he saying about me? What? There's no reason to have a meeting if no one's here. Let's just go. I... Hi. How was your day? Effing confusing. I'm in the middle of January already. Since today's the 13th, we only have 18 more days left. Let's go tonight. Even though I might be overdoing it, I still want to do as much as I can. Yeah, for sure. Live with no regrets. I feel you, Fuka. But that is all the time we have for today. 18 more days. It is... <sighs> God dang. I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Hmm. Nah. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. More Persona 3 Portable. Bye.